G'day, welcome to Tire Review and today we've got a special review. We're doing our first reviewer's rides and you might have noticed the car behind me is uh, a little bit different. We'll get into that in a minute, but I've got Chris here. Chris, before we talk about the car, tell me about the other cars you've had that sort of have led up to this car. Well, I suppose, uh, you know, doing up trucks has probably been something I've done for the last, uh, you know, 15, 18 years. I've had everything from uh, three or four Prados to an FJ Cruiser where they first came out with a six inch lift kit in it and uh, it was pretty crazy. It was my fourth 200 series vehicle yep. now. Um, I've sort of stuck with the 200 series, the last sort of three cars I've had, I just love it. I think it's the best car on the road. And uh, with the 2020 being the last of the V8s, I was like, well, we've got to make this one pretty special. So. Exactly, so that's, so what's, what brings you back to the 200 series? Um, look, I, I, I tow a boat with it. Um, yep. the, you know, just the sheer torque that these vehicles have got is incredible. Um, matches the owner. Yeah, match, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, it's, you can liken it to being like a, driving around a big giant couch. The thing's got plenty of power, very comfortable, heaps of, you know, towing capabilities. Yep. Um, and I think that, you know, the latest shape um, is, is by far the best. You've gone a bit of a dire different direction this one. The last one was sort of set up as a, as a tourer. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the last one was with a bit of a different ARB bull bar, but I sort of saw these Rhino bars come out and I kind of liked it and I kind of, you know, I mean, I thought, well, look, it's still a great tourist to everything in it, outside of probably that, that bull bar look, but this is certainly a, you know, a different look to what I've done previously with the 200 series. I believe it turns some heads. It does, yeah. yeah, yeah. People, people clapping and jumping down the road as you drive past with <laughs> a big black truck, but yeah, no, it does. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's oh, should we go and have a look at it? Absolutely, let's go and check it out. So Chris, obviously, one of the key things you notice about it is you're actually running it on 35 inch tires. You're the one who usually tests our muddy tires. Yeah. Um, you got to do some changes to the suspension to fit that sort of tight or Land Cruiser. So what did you do? On these things, so we're running it, the Superior Engineering came out with a 3.9 tonne GVM upgrade, which does a lot of, and we'll get, we'll get further down here and have a bit of a look underneath the vehicle, but there's a lot of um, diff lowering and you've got to basically space the wheels out. You lose a lot lower offset yep. on the wheel to get it out to clear the top trailing suspension arms. Um, yeah, and it basically it's a four inch legal kit. So yeah. what that means is they actually ADR compliant the car. Yeah. So now this car is legally able to run on 35. It's got a little box where it fixes the speedo up so that the speedometer's right, all those sorts of things. So is it a welding or a bolting kit, do you know? Oh, look, it, I think it took them about four days to install. Yeah. Um, it's all you know, fully remote reservoir suspension. Yeah. It's got, uh, uh, obviously, the diff drop mount kit. It's got all, everything, even on the rear, you've got, you've got longer, um, a longer, longer springs, longer arms, all that sort of stuff, which, which, which helps. So it should give you more articulation as well. It definitely does, it definitely yep. does, yeah. That's cool. We'll test that with a forklift later on, so we might even snip up a bit of video on that now. But the other most obvious thing is the Rhino bar. That looks pretty sweet. Yep. Um, and obviously, we're in Tassie, um, but you had the car, actually, the suspension had to be done in Melbourne. This is correct. Suspension was done by Full Drive Shed in Melbourne, yep. um, who are like, a, they're a licensed superior engineering dealer. So they can actually legally fit this and then put the placard on here so that it's again legal mm. for registration. And then you had a ship down here and ARB Hobart looked after ARB it. ARB Hobart, yeah. they've done all my cars for years and um, they, you know, they, they do a fantastic job. And I think this was with them for probably three weeks. Um, while we're doing it, we had the wrap, we had all the lights off it, we did the blackout kit so on the grill. That's probably a good point actually. This isn't normally black, this car. So this car is normally silver. Correct. Um, yeah. And so yeah, full wrap, full matte black wrap. Yep. And then obviously you've got the lights as well and the winch. Yep. Um, probably one of the cool things is the link system. We love this, this is fun. This is, um, so normally with, uh, you know, when you've got driving lights and winches and fridges and you know, all, all the things would open and close if you like and on and off. You've got everything wired back to a, to a bunch of switches on your dash. But ARB have released the, um, the link system, which basically is a Landoid device inside your car, sits on your pillow mount like that. Um, it controls everything, you know, I mean, I can fog lights on, you know, it's good driving blind, lights blind on. Blind us with the driving lights. You know, you can basically, you know, there's just a bunch of different stuff you can do with this. Um, rear lights, all this sort of stuff. You can check the, um, 
Fridge temperature TPMS system is on the yep. vehicle, ARB TPMS system. Cool. So as you're driving down the road, you can see your tyre pressure and the temperature, yep. which is great. Um, and you can set it for different, you know, like you can set it for road, which, you know, say you want to run at 42 PSI, it'll monitor that and the alarm will go off. Yep. At, so at it'll only go off if you have a flat rather than it going off when you're driving on, well, on you can low set, pressures? Well, you can set it to different uh, levels. So you can set road, I want to, you know, uh, is going to be between 38 and 42 pounds. And if it drops outside that, yep. an alarm will go off and say something's wrong. Yep. Awesome. So on that, how does it drive? Unbelievable. Yep. Like um, my last 200 series had a um, had the BP51 ARB yep. uh, remote mount system, which was really good. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic system. I really enjoyed it. But this thing now, just, it, dri it drives like a sedan. It's just, it's just incredible. I'm, you know, like uh, you think the, the further you go up with it, yep. It'll be a bit more a bit body rolly, all that, all that sort, of sort of stuff, but it actually drives superb, like really, really good. Yeah, I had a bit of a spin in it the other day and noticed that the damping after you go through a hole, the damping as you're coming back up is amazing. It just sort of is, like you say, it's like riding oh, on it's, a couch. It's, 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 the, it's by far the best suspension I've ever driven on an aftermarket four wheel drive. So, yeah. And you know, you're our mud tyre tester. Yep. So you've got the Mickey Thompsons on there at the moment. How are yep. the Mickey Thompsons? On the, on the road, surprisingly, they're quieter than I thought. I mean, you're looking, they're a pretty chunky Mickey, uh, right. you know, pretty chunky mud tyre. Well, they're the chunkiest mud tyre that Mickey Thompson make at the moment, oh, all for, the, for the road. And I thought, oh, this is going to be right, right down the road, but they're actually reasonably, they're actually reasonably quiet. I mean, yep. they've only got, you know, 1,500 k's on them at the moment. So we'll see what happens as the, as we get up the k's, because that's when mud tyres, as you know, will start to yep. make a little bit noise. Um, I haven't had it in the mud yet because we're doing this photo shoot, so I wanted to get one nice and clean. Yep. But as soon as we're allowed out and uh, getting back into the mud, she's going to swivel. Sure, we'll get some shots in the next couple of weeks. Absolutely. So maybe we should go around the back of the car and have a quick look at what we've done around the um, the back end of it. Absolutely. Back of so, the beast, back of the black the apocalypse mobile. Pretty good looking back end, really, it, isn't it? It is a good looking back end. So you can turn these lights on and off using that. These, these well. can go on for the, with the Lynx system. Yeah, we can turn these on like so, straight off again with the Lynx. Yep. And then in the back end. So in the back, we've I've, I've gone with it. We've gone with the MSA drawers, which are, which oh, look I reckon these are, these are really neat looking drawers. All the blue uh, uh, thing. We got LED lights when you pull them out. LED lights at night time, because one of the problems is at night time, you're fumbling around when you're camping, you can't see anything. Mm. And they it's, come out a long way as well. well yeah, well, that's right. The old, the old drawers I had only used to come out here, so you're always a bit stuck with something that you're further up. Yep. But they, these are fantastic. Yep. So, so I got that. Drawer goes back in. Yep. And then obviously you've got the fridge here on the slide. How, how does that come out? And basically, yeah, put a little knob there, bang like this. And for little short asses like me, Woo! comes down, access the fridge. Yeah, so you've actually got, you know, probably not. Yeah, so you can see in there pretty easily. You can see in there. I mean, the fridge has got a light in it as well. Yep. The good thing about too is all of this um, uh, fridge temperature information all goes to the ARB Link system as well. So it's so I'm sitting, pretty... I'm sitting there driving, and I'm going, "Is the fridge on? Yeah, it's at two degrees, yep. and it's telling me what's going on constantly." That's ridiculous because you can't actually see any wires to no, see. No, it's, no, it's all Bluetooth. It all, it all basically oh, really? goes from Bluetooth. Bluetooth system there. That's ridiculous. Pretty cool. So, and then bang, slot them back in yep. there. Got the fridge in the cage as well. Yeah, so, well, I, I did have a, um, I did have a, uh, in my last um, cruiser, I had a, um, uh, a cargo barrier, yeah. which, you know, like, it was a bit limited because if, you know, you couldn't put a fishing rod in the car, you couldn't do anything, you know, because you're always blocked by that carrier. So I've used one of this cage, which I kind of like. Um, I've got a uh, inverter sitting up on top of that, 1500 watt inverter. Yep. Um, so wherever you are, you is, is that strong enough to run your coffee machine off again? It actually is, yes. Good, good. <laughs> Chris is actually previously on a charity drive. I know. Uh, what did you sell the first cup of coffee when you were um, out in the outback for? Uh, for the Variety Children's Charity, I think we sold it for a hundred dollars for a uh, for a shot for a shot of coffee in the middle of the desert. It's so an expensive cup of coffee. It was, but it was always worth it. So. And then I'm seeing a nipple over here. Yes, the nipple. Well, so here what we've got in here, we've got a uh, an ARB dual compressor, right, which runs to a a holding tank here. Um, which you can set again all through the AB link system. You can set it up so that you can control the pressure. You can pretty much set set the set the PSI to 40 pounds. Bring 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 the cables out the cable out of here. Whack it into the tire and. Um, It'll set it up to 40 pounds. And you were saying you've got some sort of pressure equalization thing as well? Well, there's inside here you've got a tank. So yep. basically inside here there's a tank which yep. the compressor loads up yep. to 150 psi or whatever yep. sitting in the tank. It just means you can fill up bigger tyres faster right. and it's not coming direct from the compressor straight into straight into the tyre. Yeah, so it saves, saves time hanging around waiting like for the servos. things to do. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. So. Awesome. Well that's pretty cool, Chris. So I mean we've 
digress a little bit from the tyres, but yep. it's such a cool car that I figured we may as well do it. It is. Cool. I mean, here's a pretty obvious bit. You can see where it was, a silver yes, car. Yes, that's right. And I mean, uh, the, the guys at Rapcraft down in um, uh, Bonnet Hill, yep. uh, just outside Kingston in Tasmania, yep. Chris did an amazing job with this. I mean, like the the wrap all around these contours here. I mean, that's that's tricky stuff, and he did he did an excellent job with it. So I couldn't be happier with, that's the, awesome. with the finish. So. Oh, cool. We'll see you in uh, another. What is it, 8,500 kilometres to do a 10,000k review on these tyres? Absolutely, and then, uh, yeah, and hopefully I can get it muddy by then. Yes, yes, well hopefully in the next couple of weeks if we get let out. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.